Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, I'd like to discuss on decibel, how decibel actually work in a communication system. For this video, we are going to understand what is gain and antenation. This will be the part three series discussion on decibel. The earlier on series discussion, part one and part two, I have put the video link under the description. So please go through the video if you're keen to know more about decibel. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more info from this channel. Thank you so much. Before we actually touch on gain and antenation, let's understand what is power gain. Okay, power gain is defined as the ratio of the output power to the input power. Let's take a look on this equation. So this is power gain. Okay, power gain is defined as output power over input power. In another word, it is comparing the output power with respect to the input power. Okay, so this is the definition of power gain and can be expressed in this formula. We can also rearrange the formula. We can do a cross multiply here. And basically from this cross multiply, I know that power at the output is equals to the gain multiplied by the input power. Okay, so this is how we can rearrange the formula. From this equation here, okay, we can see that the SI unit for power gain is actually uniqueless okay, because it's output power versus input power. What and what over here, we cancel away the both side what. So therefore, for power gain, it's actually a uniqueless. Okay, like what I mentioned earlier on, this power gain is simply comparing one power versus another power. For this case, it's comparing output power versus input power. Hence, we don't have any unit to describe this power gain. In short, here also, sometimes when we actually refer output power, okay, we can also refer it as signal output. Okay, so this signal output is also in what? Hence, it will be the same thing as output power. Same as for the input power, okay, sometimes we also describe as a input. Okay, which is also described as signal input SI. So it means the same thing. Okay, so just want to clarify this before we move on. Power gain in ratio is commonly a very large number. Okay, remember, based on the part one series discussion and also part two series, we know that okay, when we actually want to describe a very large number, it will be better to use decibel. Okay, so hence. Okay, it is more convenient and lesser chances of making mistake if we use decibel scale to represent the power gain in dB. Okay, so therefore, this is what I mentioned. Okay, in order to avoid mistake, because we are going to deal with very large number or very small number, hence it will be best if we can use decibel to describe this power gain. Okay, on the equation on the left hand side, okay, I have already described them in so-called part one and part two series discussion. So please look at part one and part two series discussion in order to understand these two equation. Okay, today we are going to describe the equation that is on your right. Okay, so this is what I meant earlier on. This is actually the power gain. So as mentioned earlier on, power gain is actually output power over input power. So I'm going to describe them in dB. So what I need to do is basically I need to do a 10 log over here. So when I actually do a 10 log, okay, this will become a dB. Okay, so from this equation here, if you still remember, okay, whatever that we do a division okay, in term of dB, okay, it will be a minus. So therefore over here, okay, I can actually do a P out in term of dBm minus P in in dBm. Okay, so please 
take a close look over here. Okay, when DBM minus another DBM, okay, the overall effect will be in DB. Okay, I will explain to you on the next video why. Okay, but at this moment, please pay careful attention over here. When DBM minus another power in DBM, the outcome will be a DB effect. Okay, so again, like what I mentioned earlier on, we can rearrange the formula. Okay, we can move this P in to the left-hand side, which result, I can actually obtain this equation here. Okay, so this will be the P out in DBM, which is in gain in DB plus input power in DBM. Let's do a very quick example. Okay, given an amplifier has an input power of 1 times 10 to the power minus 12 watt. Okay, this is a very small number. An output power of 1 times 10 to the power minus 3 watt. Okay, firstly, explain, express the power gain of the amplifier in ratio and also in dB. Okay, let's start off by doing in terms of ratio first. As I shared with you on earlier on, Okay, this power gain is actually output power over input power. Okay, so I know the input power, I also know the output power. So what I need to do is I substitute them inside this formula. I can easily obtain the power gain in ratio as 10 to power 9 as shown over here. Okay, so this is the output power. I put it here. This is the input power. I also put it here. I punch my calculator, or in fact, if you can take a look over here, minus three, minus, minus 12, therefore I have 10 to power nine here. Okay, so this will be the power gain in ratio. Next, the question also tasks us to do power gain in decibel. Okay, so in terms of decibel, okay, we can actually do in this form. Okay, if you remember the formula that we have discussed on the previous slide. Okay, so again, I have the, output power, I have the input power. Okay, so what I need to do is I punch my calculator. Okay, I should be able to obtain power gain in dB as 90 dB. Okay, so this is the first example. Second example, okay, oh, sorry, before we go into the second example. So from here, okay, you can see that the gain is a positive dB. So from here, I conclude that it's a gain. Okay, so basically the output power is bigger than input power, therefore we call it a gain. So from here you can see that this output power is bigger than input power. So therefore from here I conclude that it's a gain. Example two, okay, the power measure at the input of a circuit is 0.1 mini watt, and the output power is 0.05 mini watt. Determine the ratio of the output to input power expressed as dB. Okay, so I'm tasked how to do the power okay, in terms of dB, okay, the ratio. Okay, so this is what we have discussed earlier on. Okay, we just put the output power, which is 0 0.05 mini watt, input power as 0 0.1 mini watt. So we can calculate, okay, so call the gain, okay, not really the gain, okay, so but the ratio of output power versus input power is equal to minus 3 dB. So what can we conclude? Okay, from here, okay, the gain is minus 3. Okay, so therefore, I know that this will be an antenation okay, because the input power is bigger than the output power. Hence, I know that this is an antenation. Okay, from here, you can also see that okay, the power is 0 0.1 milliwatt. But after go through the circuit, the power actually reduced to 0 0.05 mini watt. So from here, I know that the signal strength actually lost when they actually pass through the circuit. So therefore, I conclude that it is antenation. Okay, so let's do a very quick discussion here. So from here, you can see that the dB can be either positive or negative, as shown in example one and two respectively. Okay, so from this example two is a minus dB number. Okay, earlier on, okay, it's actually a positive. Okay, where is it? A positive dB number. So in short, what it means is basically, okay, dB can be either positive or negative. When it's a positive number, okay, when we describe about the gain, okay, the output value is larger than the input value. Hence, we call it a gain. Okay, which means that for power gain, okay, when it's a positive dB, okay, it's actually a gain. 
okay, because the output value is larger than the input value. When we actually have a negative dB for a power gain, okay, we call this antenation okay, because the signal actually lost. Okay. For this case here, for example, example two, you can see that the output value is smaller than the input value. Hence, for this case here, we call the signal actually antennae okay, because some of the signal actually lost. Example three, what is the output signal power of the device in dBm? Given that the input signal power is one mini watt and the power gain of the device is 1000. Okay, so I can easily draw this diagram here. So I'm given the input signal power as one mini watt here. So from the question, they say that I actually have a power gain of 1000. Okay, so from here, Okay, I conclude that this power gain is in terms of ratio, not in terms of dB because there is no dB or dBm, etc. So from here, I conclude that this 1000 is actually in terms of ratio. So the question tells us, hey, what will be the output power? Hey, this is the equation that we obtained earlier on. Okay, if you still remember, power up, okay, which means that the output power is actually equal to the gain power gain multiplied by the input power. Okay, as the question tasks us to do in terms of dBm, okay, so therefore we readjust on the formula okay, in terms of dBm, power up in dBm, which is the gain in dB plus the input power in dBm. I'm not sure whether you still remember this equation. Okay, let's take a look over here. This is where is the equation here. Sorry, it's here. If you can quickly recall. So this is the equation that we use for example three. Here. Okay, so over here, when we actually describe the gain in dB, what we need to do is basically 10 log 1000. So this will convert from ratio to dB. From 1000 to dB, okay, we can compute that it's 30 dB. Okay, the input power, Okay, you can see again, the input power is 1 mini watt. When we actually compare against dBm, okay, which is also 1 mini watt. So therefore, over here is equals to 1. Dot 1 is equals to 0. And from here, I compute that my output power is 30 dBm, okay, which is 1 watt. Okay, which means that this device actually provides a gain. Okay, but if you take a look on this number here, we also know that this actually provide an amplification of the signal from one mini watt to one watt. Okay, so therefore from here, I conclude that this is actually a gain. Okay, with this, I'd like to stop my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.